Hi, Fofman here, and we're gonna be talking about Fiverr. And Fiverr's been known as a great place for either someone to get high quality stuff for a lower price, or for artists or people just to get their start um, in whatever industry they're wanting. However, there's one thing that I've been noticing on Fiverr, which is a, a big, big problem, especially um, when it comes down to VTubers, is the sheer amount of fake scams that are on there. So today, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to try to avoid these kind of things and some techniques that you can use to basically prevent yourself from getting scammed. Here we are on Fiverr and as you can see, I've been browsing some things here and there, but let's go what how most people would come here. If you're looking for VTuber avatar, we're just gonna type in VTuber. So most often I find that on the front page, it's not so bad because you get more people with more reviews. So we're gonna look right here for new arrivals. Is that what's really nice about Fiverr is that there's always an image for the most part. So right here, we see this one here. I will I will model Chibi do live 2D VTuber model, rigging and animation. They, oh, this one actually looks pretty legit. So this is by Great Image. And we can see a lot of information is actually being shown here. So this one's actually looking pretty good so far. And we can see this user, great image. They're from Nigeria. This is a brand new account from February. Uh, hello, awesome buyer. I am Marcus from South Africa, but based in Nigeria. I'm a designer, modeler, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And we can see that they also have another one as well. All right, so let's take a look at this. So one thing that I always like to do, right click the image and go to search Google for this image. And we're gonna see what we find. So sometimes you won't get a lot. However, what I do see right here is I do see how to make your own, I see, basically I see a YouTube video. Okay, so let's take a look and um, I'm just gonna turn the volume down. And we do see that this video was posted April 13th, 2020. And this is probably, uh, this video has 240,000 views. And I'm going to guess that this video also contains all of that same information that we see right there. Yeah. So just by hearing this person's voice, so let's just quickly take a listen. Okay, so that doesn't really sound like a Marcus from Nigeria. I could be wrong, but um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hedge my bets on this not being the right thing. This is, I can say with almost confidence that this is um, a scam. If you give this person $70 or how much do they charge for their premium? $400, they could be a great 3D modeler. However, since they're representing their work with work that's not their own, I would guess buying this gig is the equivalent of throwing your money into a fire. Can I contact this person? They do have a Twitter. Great. Found this on Fiverr. Might want to port the gig to get it taken. Okay, so let's look at this one right here. This is on the second page. So this one is, I will design professional live 2 be VTuber face rig anime models. So if we take a look at this, it's gonna play a video. Let's play without sound. Wow, they are straight up just using the promo video for Live 2D. We go to Live 2D Cubism and we can see, look, it's the same video. It's the same video. <laughs> they're literally just saying, they're advertising this work as their own. This one, I, I would be very fishy about. Remember, this is on the second page of, of relevant searches for VTubers. I would be very wary to buy this considering that they're not showing any of their own work. Okay, so they're doing karaoke songs. It doesn't look like they offer that service anymore. So this is these are stars from a previous service. All right, so we just took a look at this one. Now let's take a look at this one here. So it says that they will create a 2D and 3D rhyme video and animation. So one thing I always recommend doing is if you're unsure about, about the actual user themselves, take a look at what else they have done. Because in my mind, it was like, where you smell rotten fish? Odds are there's rotten fish. Yeah, this looks like it's from Coco Melon. This is Coco Melon. This is Coco Melon. And this is Coco Melon. I don't know what these are, but like right now we have one, two, three. Three things on their profile that's really fishy. And also their five star reviews are for something that they don't do anymore. 
100% fishy, and this is another thing that you can look out for. Okay, so let's hear this one. This one's on the front page, has two five-star reviews. So one of their pictures is they just have a picture of Giorno from, from JoJo. What the heck? And this is just a Merry Christmas. All right, they haven't done anything special so far. And then they have this right here. They did not make this per- This is someone from- This is a, an actual established VTuber. They did not do this. And we get this person here. And they join March 2018, which means that they've had all of their entire artwork done by 2018. And when did this person join? Here. They've been only since August. So all of the work that they've shown here is not their own work. Okay. And they charge minimum of $100 up to $425 with no representation of their real work. All right, let's see what else they do. Looks like they designed a logo. They have a picture of Naruto. They did not do this. No way. Look, they just have a timestamp right there. It has a timestamp in the image. There's a timestamp there. Yeah, this is for Azurus Rising. Azurus Rising from 2010. Apparently, this person did Azurus Rising. I don't believe it. I mean, to be honest, if you're going to be buying something from this person, I mean, you're just throwing your money in a fire. All right, so we've looked um, like um, basically here are the techniques. Um, one, read what they have to say. Two, look at the reviews. I mean, the reviews can't be really that informative because let, let's be honest, these reviews could have been written by actual legitimate people or um, or by like b fake reviews. We, we have no idea of knowing, but usually is that if one of their gigs um, has something fishy in it so we found two things that we can confirm 100 they didn't do it they're just posting someone else's work odds are they're not someone that you would want to work with because if they're willing to misrepresent themselves um as a as a as a store or as a gig basically they're representing themselves with work that is not their own meaning that we have no idea what kind of work they can do so i'm gonna guess that this is just a scam and buying anything from this person is probably equivalent to throwing your money in a fire. Okay, let's see what we can do for like actually legitimate ones. So there's 83 reviews and this is a level two seller. So that's pretty promising. They do charge quite a bit, but that's pretty normal for um, a live 2D. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Bum, ba, dum, bum. They have their reviews. Okay. Reviews don't really tell us that much. Please don't buy. See, basically here, everything sounds almost the same, right? But one thing we do see, they have been active since April, so they are fairly new. Let's take a look at this. Search Google for this image. And it just goes back to Fiverr. All right. All, it all goes back to Fiverr. <laughs> all this person's work goes back to Fiverr. What is this? Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. We have a hit. We have a hit. Fiverr! It all goes back to that person! It all goes back to this person. Well, I guess one way we can say that we can know that this person's legitimate is because all of our searches for all of these different images that we see here always direct back to his own gigs, which is, I, I guess, a really good sign and that we can't find anything else. There are a large number of reviews and they have a large number of orders in queue, which is a good sign. And um, as well, uh, I, what I know personally is that they have Byako's character. I saw Byako actually say that this their live 2D model was made by, by this person. So, so yeah, those are some things to look out for. So how you can tell a legitimate one is is, is actually fairly difficult. And unfortunately, the, the best way to do it is just to one, when you do your image searches, uh, like we were doing earlier, is that if it doesn't link to anything else, that is a good sign. Also look at the amount of five-star reviews that they have, how spaced out these five-star reviews are. Cause like, as we saw in some of the other ones, that a lot of the five star reviews were like, well, there's a small amount of them and they're all around the same time period as well. 
And in other cases, they're not even related. The gigs that we're looking at, that they don't have those gigs anymore. But I think the number one thing that you can do in addition to contact them just to get in additional information in terms of their portfolio or any other work that they've done. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to have a conversation about anything we talked about here or anything in general, you can always check me out on Twitch and links will be in the description down below.